What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Regulation D ladder, but this time using an off meta team. We got ourselves a Water Compaction, Polisand, and Greninja team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator before we even get started with today's team preview. Jamie Boyd, thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. If you guys want the Pokey Pace, head down in the link in the description below. There will be a link to his channel and a link to the video where they showcase his team with the Pokey Pace in that video. So again, head over to their channel. Huge shout out to Jamie Boyd for making this team. But first Pokemon is going to be Don Dozo for today's team preview. Wave Crash, Order Up, EQ, and Protect, Unaware, and The Leftovers. We used a similar build to this in yesterday's video, and it works out so well, especially paired up with Tatsugiri, who is in our sixth slot. Our second slot Pokemon is going to be Flamigo, and Flamigo is going to be great paired up next to Policy. And so a lot of people are probably thinking Tatsugiri might have Endure with Poison Herb, all that stuff. He's going to try to KO itself, and then, uh, co-star Flamigo next to the Don Dozo, but it's not the case with this team. Flamigo is actually going to be used with Polisand when Greninja boosts Polisand stats, so co-star, such a good ability. It has a Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Brave Bird, Close Combat, Bulk Up, and Boost. Fluttermane is in our third slot, a Pokemon you cannot go wrong with, with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy as its item. It's got Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Parish Song, and Protect. Greninja is in our fourth slot. Greninja is only kind of here for support. It's got Water Shrekken for first turn priority and proc in the weakness policy and water compaction on the Polisand. It's got Trailblaze to also proc the weakness policy on the Polisand if it wants to terrestrialize into water or just stay its typing because it's going to be super effective either way. It also has Toxic Spikes to set up poisons on the opposing side's field. And then we got Taunt for our final move. So Greninja, not that big of an attacker in Regulation D, but it actually works out well as a support Pokemon. We got Polisand in our fifth slot, and Polisand is one of my favorite Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon, it's just a sandcastle, I don't know why I always liked it, but it's Ghost and Ground with the weakest policy and water compaction as its ability. It's got Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Amnesia, and Shore Up, which is, I believe, to be its signature move. Tatsugiri's in our final slot, paired up with Don Dozo, you guys already know that combo. It's got Roselli Berry, then Draco Meteor, Surf, Taunt, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Grand Ninja and Polisan team. First match is on its way, and we'll see how this team goes up against the meta. We're going up against a Rillaboom team with Urshifu, Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, Cerule Edge, and Tornado. So they can take speed pretty easily. Do I want to go into Polisan Grand Ninja? I kind of do, right? I mean, I believe they might lead like Fluttermane or something, so a lot of Pokemon are going to be super effective up against my boy here, right? It's looking a little scary. Do I go Grand Ninja Polisan? I kind of want to. I can get a crazy defensive boost with the water compaction. So I'm thinking of just going these two and then bring in Flamigo in the back end because Flamigo rocks. And last but not least, go Flutter Me with the booster energy. I think that could be my best bet. I am a little scared of the Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle rips. Iron Bundle can rip. But, you know, it's first match. Let's try to pull off this combo, even though I think it's going to be tough in Regulation D. I'm just trying to use it and use something fun for you guys, considering we've been using so many different meta teams, showing you guys some big-time teams to push the meta. But, uh, yeah, fun teams are always off-meta teams, so we'll try it for you guys. We'll definitely try it for you guys. Not expecting no perfect record today. Expecting, I would hope to get a winning record. That'd be really cool for us, but, uh... But, yeah, I, I have a feeling we're going to go one and two. I don't know why. I don't know why I just had that feeling, especially like now after Worlds, everybody's using the Worlds teams or teams that people like using the Worlds. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot of heavy meta right now. The heavy meta push is on its way, but we'll see who they want to lead. Iron Bundle is a problem. It's a problem. It's gonna be super effective onto a lot of my Pokemon. Even if my Polisand terrestrializes, it's still super effective with Freeze Dry. We're just hoping he doesn't lead it, right? And he is gonna lead. Obviously, he's gonna lead. So he can fake me out. He can do a lot here. Um. Hmm. What is my play? I have Focus Ash on the Grand, which could be lovely. Um. Hmm. This is tough. It's real tough. <laughs> I don't really know how to play this one. Um, I could Trailblaze. I could set up a Toxic Spikes if I want to. But he's going to fake out probably my Grand Ninja. So I might just Terrasalize in a Ghost here. Honestly, I might just Terrasalize in a Ghost and then Water Shrekken. 
and then could go into a shore up, which is a pretty cool move. That would just give me my HP back. Hmm. Do I just go for Earth Power or Shadow Ball into the Deli Bird? I should be Shadow Ball Deli Bird. Let's do it. So we're going to Terrasalize Greninja into Ghosts. Into the Ghost type. The lovely little Ghost type. And we all get after it. God dang, Deli Bird, yo. Deli Bird's so annoying. Or Iron Bundle, whatever you want to call him. I'll go into Greninja. He's going to go for a Fake Out. Lovely Tower type on the Gren. Two Ghost types on the field. And Water Shark is going to come out here. So we're stacking our defense up here, which is going to be pretty good. Defense goes up plus two. We're going to get the weakness policy bumping. So attack goes up plus two. Water Shrek is going to hit us again. We're going to go up defense plus four. I wish Deli Bird was a physical attacker. That'd be so big. It works out so well up against the physical attackers. And we're going to go for a freeze dry in the Greninja. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. I'm not cool with that, though. A freeze on a freeze dry? Come on now. That ain't cool at all. That is not cool at all. But out comes Shadow Ball. Going to dump on... The Deli. The Deli Deli is gone. We love it. We love it. But Greninja solid frozen. Look at that thing. Come on with that. A freeze dry freeze? How often do you see that? Not too often. Not too often. I would understand if it was like a blizzard, all that stuff, but a freeze dry freeze? Might be like my second one I've seen in this game. But from here, they got Urshifu out here. Um, I got defense boost. I am terrified of that Pokemon. I am going to go for a Trailblaze. Just look to get off some damage. And I really wish I had my Terra at this point. But, uh... I could actually Hard Swap. And I think this going to be my play. I think I'm going to Hard Swap Grand Ninja. To be honest. Into Flamigo. Get the Co-Star boost. Get cooking with that. And then just try to... Try to hit this Earth up with a Shadow Ball. So we'll, we'll, we'll use Grand Ninja maybe for a little bit later usage. But of course it's frozen. The thing that I hate about Freeze is, like, you don't really know when you're going to thaw out. Like, at least sleep, you're like, okay, I have a higher chance here. Like, I might be able to uh, get after it. But a good swap from us, too. He goes for a knockoff, and he knocks off my berry. My lovely berry. And then he's just going to start and strikes me, and that's going to KO me. That's what I was hoping was not going to happen. But I am going up on defense, but these are crits, which is so annoying. It's so annoying. That's why this Pokemon is so good. Like, I'm plus six on defense, and only because his moves crit, he's able to do big-time damage to me. But my Flamigo was able to co-star. It doesn't have a Citrus Berry anymore, but I can still rock after it. We will go into Fluttermane here, which I love. It is going to be into speed, so let's get cooking. Love Grand Ninja for late game. Okay, okay. Do they still have Terror Type, which I think Terror Type is going to come out now. And I think from here we just go Brave Bird into the slot, and then we just Gleam across. Oh, we don't have Gleam. Wow. Do I double down to Urshifu? I think I'm just going to double down to Urshifu here. I think he's going to Terrasalize, but if we could just get rid of it. I honestly think Brave Bird with Flamigo is going to KO regardless. So, you know what? I'm just going to go Moon Blast. So, out comes the Terra type. Read this all day. God dang Palisand. Or not even Palisand. God dang Urshifu. Being so annoying. He's going to go into Steel type. The most perfect typing that I'm versing right now. The most perfect typing. That hurts. That hurts. I was not expecting Steel to come out there. The Moon Blast, we put it into the uh, the Real Boom slot. We get a special attack drop on a physical attacker. And it's going to U-turn out of here. That is so annoying. A Steel type on the Urshi? Come on with that. Come on with that. I was expecting water, right? Like a, like a normal Urshifu. Water. Iron Head's now going to fly and dump on me. Absolutely ripped on me. So it all comes down to my Flamigi. My Flamigi Migo is going to get after it. Um, That's fine. Brave Bird's going to cook here. Do like five and a half damage. Actually, half damage. That's some good damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. Um, From here, we got to go to Greninja. Frozen Greninja came to play. Um, He can Shadow Sneak me. He really just can't help me. Flamigo, do you have Protect for later? You do not. Hmm. I guess I'll go close combat here. Trying to finish you off and just go into a nice lovely water shuriken. Greninja frozen solid. Come on with that. And Shadow Sneak's gonna fly. That's gonna KO me, right? Yeah, all day. All day. 
Wow, that hurts. We were getting we 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 started off hot with policy, and then after that, it was just like typing advantage was in the thumbs. Earth Street doing us dirty, really doing us bad. But certain strikes can come out here. You're outspeeding my Flamigo, and yeah, that's game. That is game set match. You actually might be able to eat up the shot. Probably not, but yeah, no, you're gone. Wow, hurts so much. Her soul. Oh, and one. Thought we got things started off hot here. We end up getting dumped on. Let's hop into our second match. Try to use this combo and uh, grab ourselves a win. Second match is on its way. Our first match didn't really go how we wanted to. The beginning was pretty solid with Grand Ninja and Polisand rocking out, taking out the Iron Bundle. But the Steel Urshifield with Iron Head, the most perfect thing to just dump on my team. We went to the Iron Head, took out the Fluttermain, and then Surgeon Strikes did the rest of the work. But from here, I feel as up against this team in match number two, we could go back into the Grand, Grand Ninja Palace and with Fluttermain and Flamingo. I really do like that. I do have to watch out for Storm Drain Dasher Don a little bit. Could be a pain, but I do have Trailblades, which will be four times super effective on them. So we'll see what they want to do. We'll see because they could end up hard swapping into Grand Ninja, which will, or not Grand Ninja, into uh, Dasher Don, which really could screw me over. Definitely could screw me over, but we'll see who they want to bring. I'm just hoping no Gastron, but Gastron probably coming in here. It's just such a such a pivotal Pokemon, especially when you see Grand Ninja Palace in. I feel like they gotta bring it. They're gonna end up bringing in these two, and from here, I mean, hmm, what do I want to do? Because I am scared of the Shadow Ball coming in from from what's it called? This is tough. I think we just, I think we, we, we wait a turn. Actually, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go in with Trailblaze. Do I, do I Terrasilize and Trailblaze into my Hollow Sand? That could be good. I think I'm going to do it that way. And then just Shadow Ball this thing. Chance are going for a Shadow Ball into me. But I'd rather just get rid of the Ghost type and kind of go from there. It ends up with Strong Grimstone. Grimstone with the Hard Swap. Are you going into Gastron? You think we're doing this? Come on, man. That's Gastron all day. If Gastron comes out here and we get off a Trailblaze here, which is good. We're going to a nice lovely Water Tower type. Cool. But luckily, we 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 did all this. <laughs> luckily, we did do all this. Because this this was still proc weakness policy. Should make us be able to eat up. Uh, we should be able to eat up whatever Spectre has to offer. And then we can go from there. Nice little Grass type. We are Grass now. Doing about 50 damage, so that's, that's a big chunk. We'll take a nice little speed boost here, and we'll get the weakness policy popping. But cool. Cool, cool, cool. We like that. We like that. Let's see what Spectre is going for. A nasty plot. Better knock that off over there. Better knock that off with a nasty plot. Hopefully, this thing's not Sash. Chances are it is Sash. We'll see. Shadow Ball comes out here, and it's not. Cool. So we should pick up a big time KO. Big time KO. The pile of sand is here. So now, Gastrodon's on the field. It could definitely terrestrialize knowing that we have uh, Trailblaze now. But I feel as from here, we just start getting after it, right? Just start getting after it. We just go into Trailblaze here and we'll just go into an Earth Power. We'll start ripping on this right side, but pretty solid turn one for us. That's a great turn one. Policy has been ripping in turn ones. The Trailblaze is going to come through here. It's going to get blocked. I think they might terrestrialize Gastron after this. But as long as Policy can just keep hitting, I like that. The Spirit Break goes into Grand Ninja, we like that. And Earth Power is going to come across. No screen setup either, we like that. The Earth Power coming in hot here, doing some big damage. Policy, I love you. I love you, Policy. I could set up Toxic Spikes here. I could. In case you want to do swap in, swap out. So I am going to end up sending up the Toxic Spikes because I think they might even Terrasilize uh, Gastron here. Which they do. So if they want to swap into the back end Pokemon, it's going to get frozen. So I'm cool with that. The Terra type comes out here and it's going to be a lovely little fairy type. A fairy Gastro, which, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully they KO my Grand Ninja so Flamigo can come out here. And then Flamigo can just get cooking and start finishing off this battle, right? We'll copy all the stat boosts. And we'll get that attack boost on it. So I end up setting up the Toxic Spikes here, knowing he's gonna terrestrialize, and Palisand's gonna finish off Greninja? Or not Greninja. Grimsnarl? Does. Cool. Palisand, baby. Little sandcastle. Imagine getting beat up by a sandcastle. 
You're gonna yawn me? How dare you? How dare thee yawn me? Not cool. Not cool. So final Pokemon's gonna come out here. Um, I might double protect just to yawn. Goes through. It's going to be you. And I might just taunt this thing. Just in case he wants to go for Nasty Pots. I, I cannot allow that. But he's gonna wait for me to go to sleep. Do I hard stop here? What do I do? He's definitely waiting for me to go to sleep. Um. I might just amnesia and bulk my special defense here, actually. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. If, I'm, if they're gonna double protect, maybe. Oh, I can't taunt that thing. Good as gold's a thing. It's so annoying. But yeah, if, if I'm gonna go to sleep, I'd rather just boost my special defense here. So from here, I am going to drop. I am gonna go to sleep. And we'll see what Gastron's doing here. But I do get to bring out Flamigo. I do get to bring out Flamigo. I always forget about good as gold. Earth power comes in here. We're able to soak. So I'm, I went night nights. Sleep time. Sleep time. Flamigo time too. So Flamigo's gonna start off plus two. We still have Fluttermane in the back, end, which is good. You can always just Shadow Ball down the gold and go. So I'm thinking I'm just attacking Gastro here. Yeah, let's just attack Gastro, and if I can heal up, I would love to, but. Probably gonna die out here. So Maker Rain's gonna fly here. You are minus one. Flamigo is able to soak. It is plus two on special defense as well. But that was a good amnesia for us. So Flamigo just comes in here, copies all the stats. So we got its weakness policy boost and its amnesia boost. The Pile of Sand, I love you. You did some work this match. You did some work. Flamigo is gonna go next. It is gonna drop a lovely little Brave Bird and do a huge chunk of damage. And I take some Rocky Helmet damage. Oh my god, and recoil? Don't KO me. Luckily, I have the Citrus Berry. The Citrus Berry might just win us the match. Because I need Flamigo to be alive here. You might have Ice Beam. Now you're just going to yawn me. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. But from here, we're just going to go into Fluttermane. Fluttermane can pretty much clean up this match, right? Fluttermane. Yeah, yeah. Good old Fluttermane. Let's check out those Flamigo stats. He's cooking right now. The Flamingo is cooking. Look at that. Thank you, Polistan. Plus two on attack, special defense, and special attack. We love it. But from here, we go Brave Bird. I'm going to go Shadow Ball here, and we're sitting in such a good position. Play Protects trying to get me to go to sleep. Um, you might be Choice Spectral, you know. Yeah, you definitely are going for Make It Rain again. But Shadow Ball is just going to finish you off. You do not have Sash. Oh, wow. Wait, hold up. You're that bulky? Why are you that bulky? Very curious. Very, very curious. You're that bulky? That bulky. Alright, Flamigo, we need quick naps from you, man. I'm not I'm not playing around. I should have just went into a roost that turn. No one was gonna protect, but I'm gonna go finish you off. You're that bulk why is that thing that bulky? We'll finish you off. And Gastro. You're gonna finish off my Fluttermane? We're kinda hoping this thing only has Earth Power. I doubt it though. I feel like it would've hit me already, it would've moved. But from here, we're going for Brave Bird. Oh my god, can you wake up, Flamigo? Just, just wake up. Give me this win. Don't do me like that. Do not do me like that, Flamigo. You take quick naps. Nico. Why did that fail? Why did Ice Beam fail? What? Why did Ice Beam fail? Am I missing something? Why did Ice Beam fail? We ate, but why did Ice Beam fail? 
I'm confused, but we take those wins. I am so confused. I have no idea what just happened. How did Ice Beam fail? I'll take that win all day. Maybe I read the move wrong. Maybe he went for a yawn, but I thought I saw Ice Beam fail. But hey, we take that. We're one and a, we're not one and a, we're one and one. Let's go hop to the third and final. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And that last match, we call it a big fat dub. I might have not seen it right, but I could have sworn it said Ice Beam failed. But chances are it was probably yawn. I will not see until I go back and edit. But we're going up against a top tier team. Urshifu, Dragapult. They also got Abomasnow, Articuno. And then they got Fluttermane and Tornadus. Who should I play? How should I go into this? Dondozo, Tatsukiri. Kind of want to do that this game. Right? I kind of want to do that. So, you know what? I'm going to go Fluttermane and Dondozo here. I think it's just a solid lead. And then we'll go Tatsugiri as back end. And last but not least, we will go Flamigo over Polisand and Greninja. But this one's going to be tough, man. Especially if they lead Snow. Like, Freeze Dry Articuno could really get ripped into my play. Do a crazy amount of damage. Because that's going to be super effective onto my Don Dozo, onto my Tatsugiri, onto my Flamigo. It would have been super effective onto my Polisand and my Greninja. So, Freeze Dry is just crazy strong. And that's why I was so worried about Iron Bundle. But out comes Articuno, and why does Articuno look so gorgeous, man? His colors are just popping. Looks so good. That blue is just beautiful. But yeah, Freeze Dry is not our friend. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Freeze Dry is not our friend. And they end up not going into Snow. They end up just going into Tornado. So you know what? I'm just gonna go here. And I'm just gonna protect you for now. I'm just gonna protect you, Don Dizzy. I am just gonna protect you. So I protected Don Dozo. I could see a free strike coming after me. And he's just gonna snow skate. Okay, so instead of going into Bomb Snow, you're just gonna snow skate. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I understand what you're doing. But Moonblast's gonna fly, and Articuno soaks. We get a special attack drop, which is massive. And the free strike does end up coming into the slot. Okay. That's cool. I don't mind that free strike still, again, is super scary. Um I think now, since you do have that, uh, I think now, since they do have that special attack drop, I think I am just going to go into you. Do I order up and just start boosting my attack? I think I am. I think I'm just going to start targeting down this Articuno. Do I Terra, though? No, I don't think I waste my Terra. I really don't think I waste my Terra. So I'm going to swap Fluttermane. I wish I could Terrastalize. But my terror type's dragon and it's still weak to freeze dry. And it's just bad news. But good thing we did get that special attack job. I really like that. Then neglect some of that freeze dry damage. And same thing with this plus two one that's uh, special defense as well. So Don Dizzy looking to get after it. We love you, Don Dizzy. Tailwind now comes out here from. The Tornadus, their speed's boosting, and you're going for the freeze dry, you're staying with it, and you're going for a blizzard. We like that. It's a good thing we did not terrestrialize. Do not freeze me. Cool. Order up's gonna get cooking here. We're gonna get a plus one attack boost, and plus we're doing a nice chunk of damage to Arkham. We like that. Get some leftovers HP here, too. We ain't playing around. Don Dizzy's here. Don Dizzy is here. So now uh, I'm gonna go for an order up again because order up should be able to finish off Articuno and on top of that we will get an attack boost again So we're plus three Don Dizzy's not playing around yet. Order up. Order up Icy Wind's gonna come out here from Tornadus. That's fine. I mean you can slow me down. You have speed regardless You have speed already My speed means nothing The freeze dry's gonna get cooking. We're fine. We soak We eat. Do not freeze me Cool. Order up comes out. No shot. No shot, right? Come, come on with that. Really? 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 Cool. Guess I'll deal with that. You know what? I'm gonna take my anger out on this Tornadus. He's dead. He's dead. I'm wave crashing him. Come on with that. Come on with that. I'm missing order ups now? I'm missing that? And you're getting crits with Icy Witch? This, this nonsense has gotta stop. It simply has to stop. Free Shy comes in here. We should be able to soak. Cool, we soak. And Wave Crash is now cooking. Take my anger out on you. Plus three. Get on out, my lobby. I'm not dealing with you. I'm sick of you. 
unbelievably sick of you. And those are just gonna die out of the cool. That's fine. That's fine. We did a nice chunk of damage on Articuno. Articuno should be dead too. It's whatever. We'll deal with it now. So from here, uh, is Fluttermane our play? I think we just go into like Flamigo. Or, you know, we'll save. We'll save Flam Flamigo because we do have the booster energy. We do have Protect. We're gonna waste out the last turn of Tailwind. And Obama Snow is now gonna come out here. Okay. Obama Snow. Obami Bami. Again, they do have speed for how many more turns? I think I just protect you, right? I think I just double protect, right? Yeah, let's just double protect. Waste out this last turn of Tailwind. Take, take our speed back. It is ours. We're going to claim our speed. Want it back. There's the freeze right into the tattoo, right? I'm thinking of Terrasalizing. Or am I Terrasalize to Floody? Roar Veil, come on, ah, come on, the Roar Veil, so annoying, the snow is gone, which is actually pretty big for us, and from here, what do I think his final Pokemon, it's gotta be Urshi, well I think you're gonna swap into, I'm just gonna go Draco Meteor, and I'm gonna Terrasalize Tatsugiri, so I'm gonna go Moonblast, I am gonna go into Draco Meteor here, the reason I'm terrasalizing Tatsu is because I do not want to die out to this fridge right here. It would be four times super effective and it would be an issue. I get the nice little tear going. And Moonblast cooking. Okay, no? No, it's, ne it's never that easy for me. It simply is not. It's just never that easy for me. Joker Meter gets cooking. I like the damage, but a war bell just. Oh man. Oh man, Warbell. Chill on me. Chill on me, Warbell. Uh. I'm just gonna surf protect. And I'm gonna parasol. I'm gonna try to pull off parasol. You should try cooking. Nice little block from jeans. Please double down into my footer main. Surf cooking. Can we get rid of Articuno? So I would love to just get rid of this thing, set up a Parasong, and then just protect a few turns. Nice, because a Roar Veil, it, it, it's, ter it's terrible, man. We don't like a Roar Veil. We simply do not. Wait, you should be able to eat up that energy ball. Yeah, good work, Tatsu. Tatsu getting after it. Oh, please don't be Urshifu. So I can't protect. It's going to be fun. Man. Okay. It's a problem. Did they tarry yet? They did not. <sighs> I'm gonna go for Parasol. They're gonna Terrasalize. So they're gonna be able to Shadow Ball me. Oh no, Flamigo doesn't even have Protect. Oh no. This little booger right here. We are not winning this. Unless I land like a double triple protect. Moon Blast comes out here. Go after Tatsu. Go after my Flutter Man now. Surprised you, you, you opted to go Moon Blast. Was there a shot at me winning this? Probably not, right? I don't think there is. I do not think there is because I'm going to bring out the boy right here. He's gonna go minus special attack already. And Yeah, Fluttermane just outspeeds me. Fluttermane's just gonna dump on me. I mean I'll try doubling down into it, but it is not looking good for us. That should be game. That should be game. So hard fought third and final battle. And like I said in the beginning, I I, I thought we were gonna get a one and two record. That's exactly what we're gonna get here. Because Moonblast comes in here, picks up the KO, and Tatsugiri, minus four on special attack. Not going to do enough work. So I'm just going to run this one. He's going to, we're going to throw out a surf. He's going to throw an energy ball. And that's going to be game. So guys, a losing record on the day for today's video, but had some fun with it. Use an off meta team and try to get some wins for you guys. So something a little bit different. Hopefully you guys still did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.